So with depression, it can make it more challenging to have the motivation to do things. And part of the reason why is there's a cycle that goes on. So sometimes there's a stressful event or situation. So somebody loses a job. And then the way that I feel about that is stressed, worried, people avoid people. And then what you do about that because you're feeling bad is you do things like stay in bed, don't leave the home. And when you do those things, those in turn make you feel worse. So it's a cycle repeating itself over and over. So our goal here with behavior activation is to not wait for the motivation to get up and do activities. It's knowing that the motivation will come after. So you're gonna get up, you're gonna do an activity that feels good, even though you may not have the motivation to do it. But in doing the activity, it will give you good feelings and you can gain that momentum to start doing more and more in your day. Okay. Does that make sense? So I'm going to send you home with this worksheet mm -hmm. and essentially what it's done is it's broken your day down by hour. So what I'd like you to do is write down what you're doing in each hour and rate your mood for how it makes you feel. And the reason why we're going to do this is by monitoring what we do and how we feel, we can actually begin to see the associations between the two and we can identify well, what makes you feel bad, what makes you feel good, and we can use that moving forward in your recovery. Okay. okay, Sam, so thanks for bringing your time log in. Um, I've looked over the list and found the activities that made you feel the best, and I've written them down here. And I thought just to add to the list that you could take a look over some of these examples and find out things that are of interest to you. Um, and we can pick some of those cues moving forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sam, we figured out that you want to go play basketball yeah. two times a week. We're going to do it Tuesdays and Thursdays for one hour. Mm -hmm. That sounds like what we agreed on? Yeah. Okay. Um, so when you go and play basketball, what are some things that you're going to need to do that? Um, well, I guess like my gym shorts and shoes and stuff. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah, like my um, rec pads too. And do they have basketballs there? Will you have to bring one? Oh, uh, they should have them there. Okay. And how are you going to get there? I think I'll take the bus. Okay. <clears throat> and what happens, because the basketball court is outside, mm -hmm. what happens if it's raining? Um, I guess I could see what like indoor gym has availability too. Okay. So maybe we can work on that today, finding what indoor gyms have availability, so that way you have a backup plan in case it does rain. Okay. Okay. 